Oh, hi, Janet, and um, welcome back to our subject WS2512, where you've been a speaker for a number of years. As you know, the focus of this subject is on organisational practice, and we've, we've been interested in including feminist and women-centred organisations um, in this subject because, in some ways, women-centred feminist organisations really illustrate well how the goals and the structure the history and the theories uh, about organisations are visible um, in feminist or women-centred organisations, how they all come together. So I thought I'd like to ask you a few questions about your work here, um, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Sue, for inviting me to speak and um, welcome to all the students as well. Yeah, so I thought I'd um, start by asking you, what do you think makes feminist or women-centred organisations different? Well, I guess um, we work from a feminist philosophy and um, what um, the aims and the philosophies of the organisation we, we practise. So we recognise that women as a group are oppressed and um, women overwhelmingly experience domestic and family violence. And um, we work from a philosophy of um, listening to the women, believing their stories, and supporting them, um, providing options and supporting them in their choices. Um, so, you know, we, we really practice the philosophies and aims of the organisation. So the aims of the organisation is to enhance safety of women and children and the general community. Okay, yeah, that's great, thank you. And um, I suppose part of the way that feminist and women-centred organisations operate today has got a strong history and purposeful history. Did, did you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, there's developments um, within Australia. Um, years ago, there were no women's shelters. Um, and domestic and family violence has always been prevalent in the community. But it was more of, it wasn't a um, community business. It, it was something that was private, but it was happening. And there was nowhere for women to go to, to be in a safe place, apart from if they had any neighbours or um, there might have been an organisation where they could stay for the night, but then there wasn't that practical support. And then, then quite often they returned to the violence within the home. So in 1974, a group of feminist women, um, what they did was broke into um, a vacant house and they started up the shelter and it was called Elsie Shelter. And from there, um, they had no government funding. Um, they provided a safe place and support for women and children escaping domestic and family violence. And um, they lobbied, um, they got media attention, and then they were um, over time successful in getting some government funding. And so um, that was the start of women's shelters in, in Australia. And now that has grown. So there's many women's shelters in Australia, however, not enough because quite often women and children are wanting to get into a safe place and there's not enough vacancies for them to do that. Um, but certainly there's a lot more support around. And even for our service, the North Queensland Domestic Violence Resource Service, we've been um, running for over 21 years. And that started from a group of interested community members recognising um, that domestic and family violence was a big issue in the community and there wasn't that support available. So they um, started um, supporting you know, women and children and from then gained um, government funding and then from that the service has grown and certainly there's still a big need for it. Um, currently there's approximately two women a week who die as a result of domestic and family violence. So it is a prevalent issue and it's a significant issue and um, we need those services there to support um, women and to try and enhance their safety. Yeah, thank you. As you say, it's an incredibly important organisation and the work that they do. Um, I'm wanting to ask you a bit about your, the work you do in this organisation, but I wondered if you could just say something about the structure of the organisation and how that works. 
Um, it's it's a um, non-government organisation, a community-based organisation funded by the Department of Communities and um, we have a management committee, COCATE, and they were um, the original um, group of um, people who started um, the service and um, we have the, the management committee, we have a coordinator who reports to the management committee and we have um, staff and I think there's currently about 13 full-time staff here at the moment and we also have an office out at Mount Isa. Mm, okay, well, yeah. that's great, thank you. And do you want to tell us a bit about what you do in this organisation? Um, yes, my role is senior support worker, social worker, and um, basically I provide support to the coordinator to tr try and provide the smooth running of the service. And so I have a variety of tasks. Um, we've recently received some funding um, to support communities outside the Townsville area. So um, I'm doing that role as well at the moment. So in the areas of Charters Towers, Hewenden, the Burdekin, Palm Island and Ingham, there's domestic violence workers there. And so my role is to support them in the work that they do, because quite often they can feel quite isolated. So I can provide support, resources, and try and initiate um, or support if they're already running DV network meetings in those areas and bring people together. So that's one of my roles. Another role is, um, as I said, supporting the coordinator. So it's um, a variety of tasks and that can include client work as well, but being there to support um, staff members. Um, being on um, steering committees, um, attending meetings, being part of the Dovetail meeting, which is a community integrated response um, to respond to domestic and family violence within Townsville. Um, some client work and, um, as I said, a range of um, meetings and committees. And the purpose of that is to work all together within the Townsville community to try and respond to domestic and family violence. Yeah, okay, look, that's terrific, Janet. And, uh, and thanks for taking your time to talk to uh, our, our students out at JCU in organisational practice. My pleasure. Thank you, Sue.